Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name's Lucas, welcome to my studio. Today I'm gonna to be showing you four quick tips to enhance your productivity in Guitar Pro software. So grab your guitar and let's get right into it. Tip number one is using the scale diagram feature that's new to Guitar Pro 8. So right over here, if you click this button, it opens up the scale diagram editor, which is really sweet. So you can enter the number of strings, number of frets that you're using, the starting fret. You can do different orientations here, add different markers, and you can even add numbers to the marker. So in this case, I've put the fingers that you use in the left hand to play these shapes. So this is the scale diagram editor, and you can put them anywhere in the tab. The second tip is more of an editing feature. And in this example, we have a guitar passage that I would actually just like to transpose to a different fret or to a different key. And instead of having to retype everything, what you can do is you can hold shift option and up or down arrow keys to move these around to different frets. So I can change that to starting on the third fret or the fifth fret or wherever I want. So we could transpose a whole song or a scale or whatever it is, just using that key command and not have to retype it. The third tip is also an editing key command. So this is to add or delete bars in your session. So let's say we select here, I can press control and then the plus sign on my numeric keypad and it will add a measure right before where you selected. And similarly, if you do control minus key, it will delete it. So you can add or subtract measures wherever you want in the middle of a passage. And my final quick tip is actually something that really bothered me in Guitar Pro for a while, but there's a key command to fix it. So let's say we're doing this B flat major scale fingering here. And as you might have realized, B flat major is a flat key, therefore there should not be all of these sharps, which Guitar Pro has used by default. So if you hold Option, Command, and the number eight, it will switch it to a flat. So I'm just gonna go in and fix all these, and this will be a better sheet music for B flat major scale, which should have flats. By the way, if you don't currently own Guitar Pro, follow the link in the description to buy it using my affiliate link, which will directly support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Let me know if this was helpful in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.